Hello I Technology Reviewers and welcome back to our channel. We're gonna do some reviews for Audi cars, especially A8. This tutorial will teach you how to make uh, an electric component that you will use to close your trunk. For example, A8 Audi or other cars have button for closing the trunk. We can open the trunk from the key, but we cannot close from the key the trunk because it's a kind of safety feature from Audi. So uh, if you see here, I now I'm closing the trunk, but it's not working. So I got to uh, place some electrical component, uh, especially a relay, which will make a contact for this button to automatically close the trunk from the key and uh, from uh, your uh, driver's door. Okay, so this is the relay. I already soldered uh, these connectors and four wires. So this is the power which you got to uh, powered up with 12 volts. Here is the 12 volts when you power up the relay and here is the connector. So these two pins, it's an open contact, it's an open uh, circuit and these other two it's permanently closed. So now when you uh, power up the relay with 12 volts, this will be just for the moment as you power up, this will be a closed contact from an open contact. So we got to remove this tool kit. We got five screws here and some protection. You got to remove this protection. Uh, do gently like not like I did, because you will scratch them. Are a little bit tricky. And you can unscrew this toolbox. Sorry. And So now we have two screws here and two screws in the other side. So you got to find a small plastic door that you will remove it. It's, uh, so it's kind of tricky. You have to look with a light to see it. It's uh, some kind of uh, it's some kind of small clip, and you remove this door, and you will have for for the screwdriver. So now remove this uh, rubber, you can unscrew it. You can use these tools or your hands. Um, I see it's better with your hands because you can sense and be careful when you remove, remove this plastic also. Now you have a connector here and from the light you have another connector in the back. I prefer to remove it like this. So for better protection, do a tape and put around the relay just to protect the wires from breaking. So now it's perfect. First of all, you need to check the voltage put at 20 because we have 12 volts here and we got to measure when you press the command on the remote control to see if your lock will give 12 volts. And when your lock will give 12 volts, this relay will make a contact on these wires. It's a very simple thing. We'll close uh, the contact and we'll cl close your trunk. So let me explain a little bit what I have done. So this is the power button where you close the trunk. 
So you have one, two browns, one green and one white with red. So it's the wires that make contact first one and third one, brown one with the green one. And this is the relay. And from the, this part, from this part, you have the brown one and the green one. It's the brown one and the green one. This white one with green, it's not, I didn't uh, touch it. And the relay, I found a place in the back. I uh, tape it with this existing wire to the car. And this, I leave it a little bit longer because I want to put the panel, the panel of the trunk back. And this connector, it's clicked, clicked. And uh, this is pretty much it. So now let's see what we have done. So from the key, okay, it's working now. I don't want to close it permanently. And now let's see from the driver's side. Okay, so it's working. So uh, we can close it from the remote and from the driver's side door. We can close it and open the trunk. So this is pretty much it, guys. Um, I want to show you, I change with the power LED also here because it's white, it's more bright for the trunk. Uh, it's a little difficult to put here, but it's nice from, for the night. So if you like this review, if we helped you uh, from, uh, for other cars, uh, hope you, this tutorial works on A6, on uh, A8, on uh, all other cars which don't have the option uh, in VCDS to close up the trunk from the remote or from the driver's door. So uh, if we help you, thumbs up guys, please support us and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews. Have a great day guys, see you to the next uh, review, bye.